What's up, my boy? From that city with juice, ain't no pity or truces. When we dip in gun smoke's conclusive. Don't act clueless, hella foolish in the 90s. And GP shotgun, when we ride. Solid on the yard, name hard on these streets. Did my crimes, gangster rhymes on dope beats. Still fuck laws, ain't no pause in our demeanor. Rest in peace, Muggsy and my road dog creeper. Ways to put it down, no fear of new cases. Years ago, though, it was guns and chases. 714 on my shoulders, kept it active. Roll like soldiers, G-code ain't passive. Still Mac and Rack, still packed at the waist. Still stacking racks, still flash when they hate. Now it's podcasts and videos with pretty hoes. Me and George banging orange till the city's known really though. OG Wayne. We keep it moving smooth like everything. In this industry, Grew up in the streets of the LB. We don't love these hoes, what they tell me. Packed up and moved to the OC. Me and George ballin' like Shaq and Kobe. Fuck bitches get money, living wealthy. Bad bitches screaming, let me get a selfie. Big stop, she be some real G. Side dick is the general of an army. Egg she podcasting in the morning. Don't say F.A. here's your warning. That other bullshit be boring. With some goofy ass question, that's corny. Tommy, let me finish my story. Shooting shots, game six, rubber ring. Smoking blunts in the bus while I'm touring. Now, welcome to George Perez Stories. in this industry. What's up, my boy? What's up? It's your boy, George Perez. George Perez Stories, episode 358. It's been three weeks since we haven't podcasted. You know, people were sending death threats. We're not union eh? I was working these fools hard, you know? Poor Xavier has to do eight other podcasts just to leave, eh? Tommy over here, he hasn't done holding it down. <laughs> like everyone said once said that you should call it holding it up. Like, hold up. <laughs> Tommy's new podcast is gonna be called Hold Up. Well, I'm, I'm on tour right now. Hey, I'm I'm building stages. But hey man, for everyone that tunes in today, this is what we did. I gave Xavier three weeks off. I gave Tommy three weeks off, and homies caught up with families. Went to raves, did comedy. Me, I'm working on another studio. I got a big announcement coming, guys. And it's like, yo, if you're still riding with us, feed me. If you're going to catch on later, feed me too, dog. Hey, just like you guys missed us, we missed you. And with that being said, George Press Stories is brought to you by JB and Sons Tree Service Landscape and Installation. If your lawn looks like it's been chon chon up. It's where Pop it, it, it's where Popeye throws Miklo down in, and they did practice scene right there. Hit up my boys at JB and Sons Tree Service Landscape and Installation. They specialize in tree removal, stump removal, irrigation, landscaping, sprinkler, like anything that you need with your lawn, guys. All the Mexicans there have papers. They're citizens, so if the Migra comes, nobody's running. And your lawn's going to stay green. JB and Sons Tree Service Landscape and Installation. Hit them up on Instagram personally at J-M-B-A-R-R-I-O-S-12. Or 
JB and Sons, JB and Sons on Instagram. So, hey, check it out, everybody. Um, I moved all my equipment to the other studio, and like, we're still using the studio, but like, we only have one mic. And I think it's cool because now Tommy can't interrupt. <laughs> so it's not punishment, but hey, we're, we're, we're still going to try it. So ladies and gentlemen, this guy right here has been holding it down. And when I mean holding it down, I don't know. So yo, check it out, guys. Like I said, we only got one mic right now, and the only reason we got one mic is because all my equipment's at the other studio. But it's all good because, like, it's going to be good. I don't know, guys. Like, maybe this is going to help Tommy not interrupt. Like, you don't understand right now. Tommy's throwing side language at me. Like, he's trying to talk. So without further ado, the most interrupted in the world if he knew sign language, he would have arthritis, everybody. Give it up for three plates, Tommy. I want to know your name. Mm. Oh, looks so good. You don't have to hit him with the oldies. What's up, everybody? It's been three weeks off. I've been getting my swole on. In the gym, you know what I'm saying? So I'm wearing a sweater right now because I'm doing a review in about a month. And I'm saying we're out here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Get ready for a good show. Yeah. Dog, that was the weakest whistle ever, dog. Hey, you know what that whistle sounded like? A cholo that's been up for like five days, dog. And his lips are all dready. He's like, and that's why the Hudas came and busted everybody. Go, I whistled homes, but I was nothing came out. Eh? You know what it is? You know what it is? Eh? Is uh, the teeth? There's no space, no air. Like, like I got a gap. I can whistle good, dog. Try to whistle again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, homie. Hey, this fool almost had a seizure, dog. Let me see. The missile. <laughs> nah, you gotta you gotta do this. Hey, you ain't <laughs> right? Am I right? Am I right? So uh what'd you do in the last three weeks, dog? Like um I know you didn't podcast. Um I know you didn't write new jokes. I know you didn't sing the song. I told you to finish the song. Hey, everybody, I just got a studio that has a recording, like professional. Hey, I ain't playing games no more. You're going to see some new stuff. And I told Tommy, hey, dog, three weeks, finish the song. Tommy, go ahead and explain true lies to everybody. So, you know, we've been uh, brainstorming in the studio. <laughs> no, hey, I got a whole bunch of stuff, new stuff written. I got. Uh, I wrote the the rest of fucking. En allá por Las Vegas encontraron a Tupac. The rest of uh, Tupac cor corrido. I wrote. That's the, that's the rest of it. No, no, no. I'm saying I wrote the rest of the uh, uh, the uh, Tupac corrido. Can, can, can we get some of it? Can we? Come on, dog. Exclusive player. Creció en Filadelfia. Antes le dicen algo, pero cuando vino a Oakland todo cambió. Conoció a Dr. Dre y también al Snoop Dogg. Lo pusieron en el juego y todo cambió. Oh! Little snippets, you know what I'm saying? Because if it's the whole thing, you guys ain't going to get the record. I, I, I'm impressed, dog. Because I, I know you didn't write it and you did good right there. <laughs> so, hey, check it out. This is what you do. You have the first one. Now, go back to what you just said. Tomorrow, when, it, when we download it, go back to it. 
take it out and write it down now and make it's you got to make it better now like add yeah like make it smoother give it because uh fuck man uh comedians or anybody as an artist or in anything eh i really don't give advice because we all do stuff different i feel but uh the 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 true advice of it is the more you work and tweak on that song the better it's gonna be because we think we're smooth because we made our friends laugh but other people think differently like man this motherfucker put no effort like you know we like you because we like it but oh yeah so uh what other song have you been working on for us dog and then the other one i got the the tattoo song okay that one's already half written most written the, the whole thing we just need like the guitar and the music and everything but everything else is written like what do you mean the guitar no i'm saying like You're the the lyric the lyrics are written but the beat because it got to be nice like what the fucking ding, like guitar like old school ding, 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 ding. and i'm saying like oldies it's like a old like a 70s oldies kind of with a little bit of how can i tell you i love you baby like war so shit no i know that's the beginning <sighs> so clap so clap yeah, everybody. I won't be producing that song for sure, dog. This over here is, try, over here is trying to sound like uh, Red Hot Bell Peppers. Eh? <laughs> Real, red Hot Rich Crest Peppers, dog. Hey, homie, I'm right here talking. Eh? You, know, you don't have a mic. Chill out, dog. You're on timeout right now, player. Dang. Hey, dog, I bet you if, like, if Tommy went to go see a shrink, that shrink would go see another shrink to talk about like, hey man, this fool right here, dog. You don't even know, man. I put I put those those things you get from the machinist, they were in their ears, and he still he he blew those up. He. What's up with you, X? I know you're not on camera, dog. Come around over here. Let everybody know what happened, dog. Pull up a chair, X. Hey guys, this is gonna be the most craziest. Musical chair podcast we got, dog. What's up, X? What's up? We're back. It's been three weeks. We got some good shit coming through. We got a green screen. I was impressed because I wasn't there. I was like, what? Who who, who produced this? Yeah, I know. I... We also got, hey, now we're doing a ghetto today, fool. That, hey, we, but you know what? We did it for you guys, so... Uh, I'm going to be at Water the Plant studio now, part-time, and uh, we got a full green screen room. We got a full recording room. We got a, a mic booth. We got a room for a live performance band, and the editing bay is on point. Can I kick flows or what? Right here? You know, I'm going yeah, to be right there kicking flows, writing all these songs. Guaranteed you guys get ready. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't even done anything, eh? I put money. Oh, you're tri- get, fi- go fix. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's it, stop it. Stop. Hey, fool, stop messing with X. I'll let him tell the story, man. So, hey, this fool went to EDC and he rented a trailer. And, like, the trailer weighed way more than his truck. So, so tell the story what happened. All right, so, my truck, the Tahoe La Mamalona, 1995, two door, four by four, Eddie Bauer. You know what I mean? Real shit. Real cartel. Real cartel shit. And uh, so, it's for emergencies. You know, like, you don't let, you, know, you don't pull this out namaz por namaz, but someone flaked on me because they were supposed to let me borrow the RV, the one, you, the one that has a car in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was going to borrow that, so I didn't need it. So, eventually, they flaked on me, and I got stuck with pulling a 29-footer trailer, like a fifth wheel type of shit. And... My Tahoe can pull 7,000. This weighs 6,500. But my Tahoe can pull 7,000 when it has zero miles. <laughs> Mine's pushing almost 200. So that engine was not for it the whole way there. So I posted on Instagram. I was like, hey, am I going to make it up there? Blah, blah, blah. Whoop de whoop. Tommy, you know how to work the cameras? Just what? press one and two for one now. Is you. Um, I'm two. It's on two. Oh, hey, it's I on talk, me. Push one. Oh, let me ask you yeah, yeah, wait, wait, wait. One. So, yeah, hey, they, hey Tommy. Right I see it. You can see me? You can see me? All right. <laughs> hey, Tommy's working, eh? 
So the question I want to ask is, you didn't drive by yourself. No. You had, like, car going there. Flip it, Tommy. Uh, so exactly. So you know how the trailer weighed 6,500? I have, like, three or four people. You add up the weight. That's the 700. That's the 7,000. So I'm literally pushing exactly what's the max. And I put it on Instagram, and I t- took a picture. Look, my, my Tahoe looks small compared to this big-ass trailer. And one of the homies, shout out to homie Juan. He listens to George Press stories. Hit me up. Hey, hey dog, I'm listen to your podcast for a while i'm a trucker like a real real trucker con cuidado like you can do it because it's obviously doable well, hold on, hold on, hold on. why did he hit you up though like i heard you were posting videos of overheats <laughs> like you, you were overheating live dog yeah, yeah so so on on before i left i posted i was like hey can i do it just you know just to get fucking clout you know just be like oh look at me and a lot of people said, con cuidado, like you're pushing it. Everyone's like, up the hill, go slow. Everyone's giving me tips, you know, like being like, being like really like, hey, fool, careful. This isn't no, this isn't no joke. I was like, I just appreciate it. And one of the homies said, hey, dog, I'm a trucker. Here's my number. Por cualquier cosa, text me. I'm going to have my number on. on all. It's, it's going to be an emergency. Fool. I called my dad first. You know, you got to call your dad. <laughs> After I called my dad and my dad told me this basically the same thing. He's like. Pull over, because you know how there's a gauge. You gotta keep, you gotta you gotta check your gauges all the time. And there's that there's that there's that que se calienta el gauge. And usually you don't pay attention because you're not you're, you're cruising. Not you, you were you 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 see this thing go poquito a poquito. You just see it. And if you're not paying attention, it's you're you're gonna overheat and your engine's gonna blow out and it's gonna be bad news. So everyone just kept telling me make sure you don't overheat. So I kept pulling over. I got girls in the car. I got the heater running on blast. They're hot. Hey, uh, speaking of gauges, I'm, uh, now for like, I used to be a, a super empanochado dog. Like, I would always put the girls' pictures where my gauges were. <laughs> yeah, I would always put like the girl I was with, and then like my kids over here by the speedometer. And then like, I remember one time, dog, I was like, damn, this Haina loves me because like a red light kept blinking at her heart. But it was, <laughs> yeah, it was the chick engine lady. I was like, <laughs> I was like, hey, hey, this kind of loves me, eh? like, so, yeah, dog. And you know what, homie, I ain't gonna lie, dog. What you took your lady, other people took their lady. It's kind of messed up, fool. Your lady, you guys are going to EDC, and you got it. Like, it's like a, it's already a hundred. It's already a hundred, and that's what they said. He's like, so, I guess your um your radiator. So if you can, so if you, the second, so I kind of had the cooler on because you know you're driving like all oh, for the high knots and shit, dude. The second you turn on the heater, you instantly see the gauge go down. It literally, I guess it it gets all the heat from your engine and it throws it back at you. So it's hot. And these girls are like, they didn't pay for tickets, so it's like, shut up, like hey, like cool the fuck down, like. <laughs> see that's I mean. I don't know. The girls I kick it with would have been like, but you know what, though, dog? If you got a down ass Heina, and I know you do, and you know what I mean? It's just like, she was probably like, hey, you better give me a beer right now, then they cool down, you know what I mean? Because, hey, that's damn for a heater. But hold on. So nobody was in the trailer? They was in there? No. I have no one in the trailer. That's illegal. I thought about it. You know, my legal ass. Hold on. So you're not allowed to be in a trailer. Why you? But what if it's the one you're driving? You're allowed to. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead and answer. Yeah, the the, the fifth wheels. I guess you're not allowed to because you got to think about it. Imagine someone hits it. There's no seat bounce. They fucking roll over. It sounds like fun, but it's not gonna be fun. So, so I'm going, and I had to pull over four times to let the engine like let the engine cool down. And I'm talking like I had people smoking a joint. I'm like we're chilling, chilling. I know. It's three, four in the morning. I'm at the I'm in the Cajon Pass drive. The stars look beautiful because there's just no light, dog. Everyone's all kind of scared. I'm like, don't get too close to the bushes because the rattlesnakes. <laughs> and everybody can see everything because this was going slow. <laughs> They're like, oh shit! I've never I've never seen anything at thirty miles an hour, eh? <laughs> so I'm going, and the last stop. I went on the last stop. I see some paisa. You know me. I'm like, hey, dude, any tips on how to get this shit up there? And he looks at me. He's like, te la vas a rifar. You're going to have a rough time. Eventually, we make it up all the hills. It's over there by, like, 
And you don't know about hills till you need to pull something, dude. Like, there's a lot of hills over there. Eventually, I get to the um, the downhill. And I'm like, easy, papita, cool. Bro, now I'm going downhill. I can just smell brakes, dog. I'm getting kind of scared because what if my brakes give out? Now I'm going to cause an accident like that kid in Denver. Before I smell the brakes, my homies are like, what's that smell? These dumbasses don't know. I'm like, don't worry about it because I don't want anyone to start like. But you got to think about it. My little brakes are pushing, are holding another 7,000 pounds going down this fucking hill. And um, so finally we make it to Vegas. We left at 9 o'clock. I get there at 4.30. <laughs> so we stopped by Home Depot because we can't go into the music festival till like, like 8, 9 in the morning. So we pull up to Home Depot. I take a nap. I'm tired. My brain hurts because you're just like looking at the gauge. You're like, no se caliente la puta troca. You're t- so you're tired. You guys pull in and uh, has, has like... Have you guys eaten? Like, is anybody on shrooms? Like, what's going on? Like, like, you know what I mean? Like, you're leaving now. Like, has anybody yelled at you? Like, hey, what the fuck? Dog? We should have been there out. Like, is everybody feeding me? Like, what's going on? Give us a little more. Well, you know me, too. Like, I look stressed. You know how when I'm stressed, I'm just walking up and down? People, they are? Yes. I'm like, fuck. I'm like looking at my phone. And so they could tell I'm stressed out. So they were, they were I got to give it to them. They were cool on that part. They were like, there's no need to add more to it. I'm like, yo, dude, I'm already calling my dad. When you call your dad... <laughs> it's all bad so i park at home depot right like i said i take a nap now everyone's we're smoking weed but no no one's even eating dude because i'm stressed too i haven't ate Hold on, real quick too. now is everyone allowed to sleep in the rv now they're in the rv yeah, now, yeah when i pulled over at home depot i put everything out everyone took a nap in the rv you wouldn't believe what happened so i wake up in the morning and i'm kind of excited ready to go i'm like all right we're here yeah la troca i'll worry about how to make it home when I worry about how to make it home, you know, I'll worry about that after I'm partying. So I pull out, dude, and I don't know if you know how a trailer works. It's kind of swings. Yeah. I didn't see a car. <laughs> you hit a car? I hit a fucking car, dog. Yeah. Outside Home Depot at like 7 in the morning. And the homies are like, Pelate. And I'm like, nah, nah. There's ca- I go inside oh. I go inside Home Depot. I'm like, hey, oh. Uh, I hit a Silverado. I hit a silver, a, a silver something whoopty whoop, and they do the typical on the fucking announcements. And when I'm walking out, the guy's already out there. White boy's like, fuck. Did you, that? Did you uh, like dent it, scratch it, like, like give us an estimate of how much feria it's gonna cost to repair that? Show you a picture and you can tell these people how much you think it was. And this was sober, like I let I hadn't even had no drink, no nothing. But but the good thing is que no le pasó nothing to the homies trailer, which was probably the best part of the situation. But where is this? Let me check it out. But it, oh, so then uh sale el bato, white boys are all fucking scared because I hit his car. Mm, not really, because that's what insurance is for. That's what insurance is for. Like, I called my dad, too, again. Yeah, forget the picture. Okay. Damn. Okay. I'd be pissed, dog. The white, if you were the white boy? <laughs> yeah. Cause yeah. Like, I mean, it's it was it drivable? It was drivable. Okay, but it's kind of like... Yeah, player. But that car's ghetto, fool. Like, the lights are all fogged up and stuff, eh? So, yeah. So, uh, go ahead and uh, finish it up, brother. So, uh, yeah. Silent white boy. And I do the right thing. I mean, that's what insurance is for. Like, literally, I pay hundred. I pay 150 bucks a month. For what? For when I when I cause an accident. That was an accident. It was literally, I wasn't yeah, drinking no, nothing. Oh, you, hit, you hit those fools in your truck? The trailer hit it. Oh. Yeah, the trailer hit it. So the truck under ten. So the trailer hit it. Okay, okay. So now you're telling me you pay 163 bucks a month, and you've been doing this since you're 18. Yeah. Now, I feel. Hey, I I, really, I feel the same way you feel. You know what? Eh? Those insurance companies, dog. They don't give us extra fatty for driving better. If we all have full coverage, dog, let's all hit a car tomorrow, and be like, hey, what's for up? Real? Hey, but imagine, hey. Would that be like uh, against the law if yeah, you were to tell everybody? Yeah, Why? Because you're, t- you're telling people that's fraud. Okay, no, so okay. but what if I was like, "Hey, everybody, uh, 
I'm just kidding. Um, you know what? I feel that we should. I feel that we should hit people. But uh, no, but that's how I felt. Like for real, because I called my house like, "Hey, calmado." Para eso la seguranza. That's why you pay for it. Everything's insured. Like you, you might go up a little bit, but at the end of the day, that's what it's for. Don't trip. Yeah. And I told the guy, I was like, "You're like everything." And I was insured. At one point, you know, you panic. I was like, "Am I insured? Like, is this truck insured? You're tripping." But uh, no, it was obviously cool. And then the cool part is like, I called the homie after I hit the car. I'm like, "Dog, I hit the car too." He's like, "Bro, you don't know shit about towing, huh?" And I was like, "Dog, I that can know." And then he's like, "Give me." Give me an hour, I'll call you back. When do you need to be back? I was like, I need to be back by Tuesday. So I'll call, call, call you back in like an hour. Well, the homie hits me back and he said, hey, I asked for the day off. I'm picking you up. Send me the address. And I'm like, you know, like no offense to, to the homie, but I was like, man, this fool's on a sick one probably. He's just talking, you know, he listens to George Press stories. I was like, cap, every day calling me like, hey, dog, I'm being for real. I'm going to pick you up, dog. I see like on, on some homie shit. And I'm telling everybody, like, yo, a fan's going to come pick me up. And they're like, no, they're not. Shut up, dog. You're, you're fucked. <laughs> they were getting ready for the heater. <laughs> they were like, everybody had Gatorades. Everybody had waters. <laughs> they were like, hey, ponte lista with bikini and shit. So, yeah, I mean, I leave the festival and I'm fucking nervous at this point because, for my truck's already heating up. I already hit a car. I don't want to drive. Like, I do not want to move anything. Every time I move it, I'm like looking at the home. I'm like, I was. We good? Like, are we good? Good? And I'm like, if we hit, we're going half on it. Because I'm like, you know how when you look to ask the homies, like, are we good? And you kind of trust them, but you don't. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> so then, uh, the festival happens. I drive it back to the hotel. And this fool hits me up it's Monday night. He's like, hey, fool, what's the address to the hotel? And I send the address and I still don't believe it. I'm just like, bro, hi, stop hyping me up. You're not going to come. Call, I, I calls me, como a las four in the morning, sends me a text. Hey, dog, I'm on the way. I should be there by eight, nine. At this point, I'm like, all right, like, you wouldn't go out of your way and hype me up for this much. Dog, fool came through with the Denelli to uh, uh, Denali. Danelli, yeah, dog, with the Danelli. <laughs> Full came up, 2016, full tank. Full showed me what a real truck is, dog. Like, neta, I came back and I want to sell this. I want a real truck. Like, came back and I was like, nah, this isn't it. But oh, shout out to the homie, like, for real, dog. I could not believe it. That's like, like, and I'm going to hook him up with some a dope gift. I'm not going to say yet because it hasn't happened, but I'm working on something. But... Ever need someone to fucking pick you up in a tow truck, dog? Call me Juan right here. <laughs> First of all, dog, there is no way I am driving to Vegas in a 2013 $200,000 mile Tahoe. Hey, for if I'm going to Vegas, homie, if I'm going to Vegas, dog, in a U-Haul, I mean, uh, what are those called, dog? No, like, but I would take, like, like a... Big RV. No, like a big RV, dog, that, like, fucking... I'll take one of those bad ones, dog. I'll hire some badass white boy to drive it, dog, with, like, every license, dog. This fucking, like, he could do the turns. He's like, I used to work for Rouse delivering fruit, dog. That's what we doing, homie. Three plates. Switch it up with you guys. Xavier, thank you so much for sharing that, dog. Tonight we're playing musical chairs on GPS. Tommy, like, did, did you see how he passed the mic and he didn't talk and like, like, are you, are you learning? I'm, I'm, I'm learning a little. I seen, I was behind the scenes right now, working the ones and twos. You know and I'm saying, if you guys need any podcast production or anything like that, get at me. You know what I'm saying. So now you kind of seen how it works. You seen how like, damn, man, eh? why is that person talking and the mic's not on? Him? Wow, hey, for we're doing good therapy with you, dog. Hey, has anybody told you you look like Tony Soprano if he was diabetic? <laughs> hey, was this Plan B to teach me this? I'm gonna stop interrupting. Everybody, know what I'm saying I'm gonna stop interrupting. They yeah, listen to this. Like <laughs> hey, I really like your room, and I want to come back. Hey. Go up there, tell, hey, take these. Tell my mother, Lord, is my back hurts. Ha <laughs> ha, you're back. What about that boy? Hey, hey, let me ask you a question about that boy. That's Crucito, right? No. 
What's the little kid's name? Uh, Juanito. Hey. Hey, 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 dog. When we went to the with the 30 year anniversary, they were selling his like, like the headstone. <laughs> and and hey, dog. And then now, hey, hey, fool. Now he's older and he's doing signings, dog. And you be like, hey, dog, Juanito, you died, eh? Juanito. No, the worst one, dog, is fool. <laughs> All of them, you know the the you know who else was at the fucking signings, you know the old man when they're at the cement and Miko's dad's all, don't you ever take the side of a Mexican over your father, like the fool he's like that fool's signing fucking taking pictures, dog. <laughs> hey, but you know what though, I can't get mad. I can just clown. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, dog, we're gonna get to that point. All of us where people are like, hey man. George Perez is selling raw hunters that he used to use, eh? I fucking want one of those, dog. Like, hey, that's what I'm going hey, to Honestly, that's what I'm going to start doing in the future, dog. Now when I, when, when I party with the girl now, I make him sign a paper saying, hey, check it out. I'm going to sell this $100 bill that we did, co- that we did coke with tonight. I, got, I need a little video. You know what I'm saying? I need you to... Sign off. Yeah, nah, like 10 months, dog. Hey, that'd be dope for a hey, dog. This is the same hundred George, Johnny Depp, John Mayer, and fucking three plates did coke with in the main room, dog. Yeah, oh, now you can unroll it and frame it, dog. And if you put like a blue light to it, you can still see the flakes from the stuff, dog. Man. Merchandise, man. Uh, Wow, guys, I'm going to be on tour, man. And uh, June 22nd, I'm going to be in New Jersey at the Comedy Dojo. And, uh, yo, the tickets are moving. And I really appreciate it, man, because, uh, you know, a a, a comic like me be out there in New Jersey, dog. This is my second time, homie. You know, it's it's an honor, man. I really appreciate the East Coast, dog, when I get to go out there and – it's going to be me, Edwin San Juan, and Lee Syed, dog, the flying Jew. Yeah. Hey, and, uh, you know, you know it's going to be a special surprise, doggy dog. Tommy, I can't take you, fool. Special surprise, three plates. No, nobody out there knows you in Jersey, dog. Do you think anybody knows you in Jersey? Everybody in New Jersey, get ready for me coming through. I got uh, 30 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Hey, let me see. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm gonna be in New Jersey for a little while. About three, I'm a, in about three weeks. I'm gonna be over there. Go ahead and pick me up in the morning. Give me a call. You're gonna see me. Make sure you guys get tickets over here. George Perez, Edwin San Juan. Make sure, guys. All right. Uh, I, hey, see that? Hey, honestly though, you got. Hey, dog, I got a good idea for him, dog. An Italian that does blood in, blood out quotes. Try it, dog. Try it, dog. That's a good one. Dude. Use me. Use this. <laughs> you said it yourself, remember? I can get in places you can't because I'm fucking white on the outside, but I'm brown on the inside. <laughs> Which one? No, hey, nah, do the tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm just showing my fucking homeboy around. <laughs> this is Miklo from my barrio. <laughs> hey, 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 we got gold. We got gold, dog. We got gold. Take hey, We got gold, dog. <laughs> Let me see the mic. Hey, homie. Hey, we're going to do that. Hey, right now, George Perez's story is copyrighted now. We're going to do, hey, dog, we're going to do that in a sketch, fool. That's what we got the studio for. Oh, homie, that's good. Yeah, you should do that, dog. Like you should, you should be in a suit in the jail. Yeah, in the jail cell. Fucking, remember how fucking Polly and them fools? You say, hey, when we went to jail, fucking, it, it was different from joints. Oh, it's a rap though. Yeah, hell yeah. Put your fucking spear down, pockets. <laughs> Do Big Al, dog. 
Hey, you get paid penny for your wrist, right? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> you gonna kill them all. All right, now something for my brown brothers. <laughs> Sorry, no tortilla. <laughs> Good one. Oh. See, homie, we're having fun, dog. Hey, we can't, we're out here. hey we're only going to use one mic now. <laughs> you know why? You know why it's good for you, Tommy? Because you're holding it in. You want to say something so bad when I give it to you? Yeah. Give it to Oh. Hey, we should only do one mic the whole time now, huh? The whole time, one mi- fucking mic. No, we're just going to do less Tommy. <laughs> We're not going to do one mic. We're going to do less Tommy. You got to learn, brother. You got to learn. That crazy, though. Uh, right now, still. The jersey fucking blooded blood out. Oh. Hey, he, he's going to be like, <laughs> hey, Tommy's going to be like, hey, check out what I just came up. He's going to call Suavecito. be like, hey, let's do, a, let's do an Italian Suavecito. Let's be. Let, Hey, this isn't the fucking joint with three hats and a cat. This is a fucking treat, Tommy. You got no choice. <laughs> oh. What am I supposed to tell my fucking parole officer now? Hey, tell him to suck his pee-pee. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, we need to clip that for the New Jersey show, dog. If it sounds like you're coming now, dog. <laughs> Open your phone for me, X. Yeah, hey, guys, I got a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, tomorrow, there's going to be a link in my Instagram bio that's going to be like, yo, tickets accessible. And, uh, yeah, Morristown, New Jersey, June 22nd at the Dojo Comedy. Uh, July 20th, I'm going to be at Tucson, Arizona at the Mint. August 3rd, I'm going to be in El Paso, Texas at the Old Sheepdog Dog Brewery. August 24th, I'm going to be at Bellflower at the Comedy Festival, LA Comedy Festival. October 18th and 19th, I'm going to be in San Diego at the American Comedy Club. Phoenix, Arizona, November 1st and 2nd. I'm going to be at the Mic Drop Club. Austin, November 9th at Roscoe's Comedy. And uh, I'm going to be adding a lot more dates. And uh, how long is that? All right. Yo, we'll be back late. And we're back like a hood rat in the Cadillac waiting for the Sizzag. George Press Stories is also brought to you by Gunther's, located in downtown Santana. They got three stores. They got a store in Monte. They're number one in the game in Pendleton's khakis, 501s, Frisco bins, vans, boots, botas, imperials, hush puppies, Ben Davis. They got the jacket they stabbed Santana in. They got the under white shirts that Red Rider was wearing when they were playing a little the soccer thingy. They got everything. Hit up the homies at Gunther's. And if you don't live in California, go to Gunther's.co. So, yeah, man, uh, you know what's crazy, guys? It, it, this has completely backfired. We only brought one mic, so Tommy wouldn't interrupt. So, like, now when we take break, this fool's interrupting during Netflix documentations. Like, hey, he's just a fool. As a kid, Tommy, we're like, did did no one pay attention to you? But when I was little, dog, I used to have bad stories. But they were all real. Like the laser hunting, the lady that used to hit us, my homie's friend that hit us. Like she would hit my, I had a homie who his mom is the one that took the cat up to the mountains and then they came back three months later with the little kittens. Well, she would hit us, dog, like if we did bad shit. And she would hit him and then she would hit me too. Like, what the fuck? Um, I really think you're, it's an illusion, dog. Oh, that's real I, shit. I, you don't have the mic. I really think. That uh, you watch like a for you like you don't have no friends like let me tell you let let me just talk to you all right 
You're like Total Recall. Like you, you're by yourself at risk, Chris. Now, nobody's out there. It's too hot to go outside. Now, you tell me it was 120. Who the fuck is playing outside at 120, chasing lizards, playing fucking cops and robbers, playing cactus and coolers? So Tommy was that, like that movie, The Cable Guy, dog, where they just sat him in front of the TV all day. And then when Tommy met a kid, he'd be like, hey, this is the character you're going to be, dog. Hold on, dog. Hold on. <laughs> so Tommy makes these. Hey, Tommy's like the Andy Kaufman, but like the Chicano one, eh? He's Andy, I don't cough, man. Tommy, you're wearing a weed brand that doesn't exist no more, dog. <laughs> just like just like your stories, dog. What happened to motorcycles? But when, we, when I was little, we had a motorcycle, dog. My dad took us to go buy a motorcycle from this. I don't know where he knew this man from. But go. when we went to his house, fool, we went to the backyard, and there was like 50 motorcycles in the back. We're like, damn, what the fuck? No, no. Hey, no, no dirt bikes. Like, man, dirt bikes. 50s, 200s, fucking KX80s, everything, dog. Like, Hondas, old school. And we're like, we got this old school Suzuki, like, kind of uh, part street bike, part fucking dirt bike. And fool. <laughs> oh, that was the same bike? Like we, we, we were riding around, my brother were riding around and we were riding around brrr, and then it ended up like breaking down hey, and then my brother hey, never rode it again. Hey, my brother hey, my brother never rode it again, dog. And then we traded it for a rabbit for I can't talk, talk. No, not no. <laughs> So this little kid, this little yeah, youngster Victor came and he, he, my, the motorcycle was in the. Shit, dog. <laughs> Homie, you started the damn story saying, hey, when I was little, I had a motorcycle. And then it got to the point where you're like, your dad took you to a junkyard of a guy you guys didn't know. There was Hondas, Harleys, Indian. It, it, it looked like the fucking, uh, yeah. the pawn shop, the pawn shop in Vegas, say, oh, like the, the junkyard of it. Yeah, sorry, Tommy. I had to take it from you right there, dog. I you I think you you need to start doing Seroquel, dog. I really think you should start doing Seroquel because it's gonna structure. It's not hey, hey, dog Xavier, like Tommy, dog. He would honestly, dog. If you went to go see a shrink, they would put you in the loony ward. I re- hey, you don't know, fool. You, hey, they'd put you in the loony word because you would be like, I really have Michael Jackson's glove. Like, stick it to the end, dog. Uh. Mm. Mm. Hey, uh, let me get a... Uh, <laughs> let me get a, a Italian fool, but doing a impersonation of... Uh, America me, dog. Yeah. Uh, right here, we got an Italian guy uh, in doing uh, a scene of American me. Hey, you want to know something? i never been at the beach before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, hey, look, hey, look at me when you talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the Vato was just doing his pinchy job. <laughs> what about fucking uh, Richie Valens, dog? Oh, my. Richie? Richie. What would his name be? Put the mic up, dog. Be a pro. R- Ricky. That's Ricky Valens. All my love, all my kisses. You don't know what you've been missing, oh boy. 
When you're with me, oh boy. <laughs> oh, Donna. Oh, Donna. I had a girl. And Donna was her name. When she left me, I ain't never been the same. Because I love my girl. Donna, oh, where can you be? <laughs> I know, we're fucking around with that shit. Stretching it. So, uh, speaking of stretching it, man, uh, <laughs> how many times are you guys going to let your mom fall down, dog? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a good one, dog. I had to fall. Hey, you know what's crazy, fools? My mom's dead, eh? And, like, I tell, I bag on fools, and they're like, hey, fool, why you bag on me? My mom's alive. And, like, I can't bag on your mom because she's dead. And I was like, you know what I mean? You can, eh? I'll take it, you know? But you can't, you can't dig her up and tell her. Like, that's where you draw the line with it. Now, uh, also, guys, um, I don't know Tommy's mom, but she's a good lady, dog. We're just clowning and having fun. Xavier's mom never met her, dog. Xavier hides his mom like. Xavier's mom pulled up with them at the Fool's Gone Wild. Remember, Fool? And she had her homie with her or something. Oh, we, we, well, we seen her at the live. Do you see how you lie? No, that was <laughs> you said Fool's Gone Wild because you want a Fool's Gone Wild to clip it. No, no, no. They're like, where is Xavier's mom going? Homie, why would his mom pull up at the Fool's Gone Wild show, dog? His mom moved him out of Santana so he wouldn't be around fools. Oh, guys, you know what? Uh, we're blazed in the maze. We're having a great time. Um, George Press stories, like I said, we took some weeks off. And uh, it was good. It was refreshing, man. Uh, like I said, we only got two cameras tonight. X can't even show his face. And um, we're lit, guys. We've been moving furniture, painting, getting stuff done. Of course, Tommy never made it. I want to thank Xavier for all the hard work. He almost overheated like his truck. But, uh, hey, this is George Press Stories, episode 200 and, or 300? 300. Yeah. Damn, 358. We thank you guys for listening, and uh, next week we're all going to have mics. With that being said, take a shower at Brown Power late. I'll drive. Chill, Yo, Tommy, man. you give me half your pay if I drive? Take back. Yeah, for real, it's not for you. can't be on your phone while you drive, man. Tell us, we'll text. Yeah, portate bien. Portate bien. Hey, Xavier, you know what I just called this Mexican lady right now, Miguel, right? What's Mexican up? lady talk shit to me, and I called her a mendiga. What does that mean? Bendiga, like a uh, like cabrona, but like kind of the same Stronger, thing. Huh? Yeah, Mendiga's right? Different. What's Mendiga, Tommy? It's like, like a like fucking bitch. Yeah, like, like bitch? a bitch. lady, you horrible uh, fucking lady. Like. She Mendiga. Yeah. I haven't heard that word in a while, George. Where'd that come from, dog? Yeah, yeah, Mendiga. It came from the bottom of his fucking soul because he was like, right when he turned, it just came out. Or oh. she talked shit when she hey, was crossing the street. Hey, guess who just hit me up, fool? Who? You're not recording me, right? No, I'm, I'm gonna hit this shit up. <laughs> Thank you, boss. Yeah. They ain't got nothing, dog. What am I gonna get? <laughs> Where that the cop is at? Oh, they got like this shit locked up, dog. The homeless people. Egg salad sandwich. You gonna get an egg salad sandwich, Tommy? Grab it. Come on, dog. Come on, get Tommy. Something. They don't got you who's. Yo, Tommy, they didn't hear you. I know, that was loud. No te escucharon, güey. No te escucharon. Oh, cool. Hey,
two of them? Yep. <laughs> no te animas. Mm. Look at that Bitcoin dog blowing up right now. I made money, dog. Who's in that crypto game? You got any crypto, Tommy? Should I switch it real quick? Switch Dude? You can switch your cash into crypto. Some shit like that, yeah. Do you have any crypto or no te animas? Go get my phone from the car. I'm gonna go switch it right now, fool. Your crypto well? Dude, look, so get little squirrely. Give it a little fucking. On the one, two. I was gonna put lots of money, but then I got enough in here. Size. Glendeezy right here, dog. GTR. I'm driving now because three place Tommy doesn't know how to not text and drive. Tommy, who are you texting, Tommy? Oh, my girl's dripping already. I gotta go back, dog. We haven't even left the LA County. She's already tripping. Portate bien. Is that, is that your breakfast? Oh, that's a Danish. bear. Danish enough. Red Panda. Panda. <laughs> you know how we do it. Diabetes, here we come. We're right here on Colorado Boulevard, you know what I'm saying? What city is this? I don't even know what city we are. Glendale, dog. Glendale, Glendale. Where's Glendale Glary at? You know that fool? We're going to go pick him up right now. We're taking him to Baker Grill. <laughs> Driving now, dog. Yeah, here, dog. Let me see. I want something to see. Oh, look what we got. Thank you, Irvin. Irvin, right here. Champ That's City Irvin. That's my contribution. Oh, shit. That's because of me. Oh, shit. There we go. <laughs> Privileges. That's Hollywood VIP. Yo, Tommy, you enjoy the fish fillet from Carl's Jr.? I got the panko bread and fish fillet sandwich and the spicy western bacon cheeseburger, you know what I'm saying? Man, camera's not working. Ooh. Ooh. I got the spicy bacon cheeseburger western and a little fish fillet on the side, onion rings. Who paid for that? <laughs> George. <laughs> Ordering fucking fish fillet at Bakersfield. Tommy, what's wrong with you? I'm college Junior. How's that fish taco? Life of a headliner. Fish <laughs> <laughs> headliners don't eat fish tacos from college Junior, dude. Oh, that's what that's all you eat. That shit's on the freaking resume. Sauce. They better have a fucking gym right here too, with Xavier, homie. I'm not staying a night here if they don't, dog. I gotta be at the gym full three in the morning, dog. That's when I wake up, dog. Three? That's when your kids wake you up, dog. Is that, is that Costco? You think they got protein shakes for me or what? You, did you bring your creatine? I got a little bag in the car. A little creatine? I got my fucking, my whey. I got a creatine. I got a little bit of alkaline water. <laughs> alkaline water? And the car's on? The car's going, hey, don't dog. Turn, hey, don't turn back on me. Hey. We're at the motherfucking suite. The suite. We got a suite, homie. Where you, where you sleeping, Tommy? On the floor? You sleeping on the floor tonight? I got my own bed in there. I got the guy's rooms. We're taking him to the steakhouse. Hungry, oh. hit, hungry hunter. I'm mean, leaving trash on my fucking floor. Fucking worse, Tommy. Got it. 
that your Peloton, Tommy? Ready for the night. Is that what you're rocking a Peloton on stage? Come on, dog. You already know me. You got the holy damn. Man, we sold the show out, dog. I got five out. minutes from you sold taken away. I got all the peeps right here. You went from 10 minutes, you went from 15 minutes to 10 minutes. I might do a little quick 45 you minutes. Show it in here? No. What's up, my boy? From that city with juice, ain't no pity or truces. When we dip in gun smoke's conclusive. Don't act clueless, hella foolish in the 90s. And GP shotgun, when we ride. Solid on the yard, name hard on these streets. Did my crimes, catch your rhymes on dope beats. Still fuck laws, ain't no pause in our demeanor. Rest in peace, Muggsy and my road dog creeper. Ways to put it down, no fear of new cases. Years ago, though, it was guns and chases. 714 on my shoulders, kept it active. Roll like soldiers, G code ain't passive. Still Mac and Ratchet, still packed at the waist. Still stacking racks, still flash with the hate. Now it's podcasts and videos with pretty hoes. Me and George banging orange till the city's known, really though. OG Wayne. We keep it moving smooth like everything. In this industry, Real G's in this industry. Yeah. 